Fellow vets, this is huge. This is probably the biggest mistake that I see in VA claims. Maybe 80% of you have made it, okay? This one tip is going to essentially fix your entire way you, you claim your VA disability, okay? It's gonna fix your consistency and you're gonna be able to maximize your rating because of the way that you present your information to the VA rater. I wanna get this to you quick in under five minutes, but you need to watch from the very beginning to the end. Take notes if you need to, pause, Watch it back if you need to, because this is going to make a real tangible difference in the real world, right, for your benefits, for you and your family. So if you like this free value, please hit that like button, that's all I ask, and subscribe if you like more free value like this. Let's get right into it. I wanna give you an example of what I mean here, and then I'm gonna circle back with how that applies to you and what you should be doing. So let's head right to the board while I kinda of give you this allegory, if you will. Let's say that we wanna get an autograph from Denzel Washington. We're here, we're at the Met Gala. We have Denzel Washington. Person one comes and say, hey Denzel, can I have your autograph? It's my son's birthday tomorrow. My son's name is Jake, okay? Here's a pen, here's paper. And we already said the son's name is Jake and it's the birthday, okay? Denzel has everything he needs to make that happen in a manner that respects his time as the person of power in this scenario. You see where I'm going with this? Person number two gives none of this, okay? Person number two goes to the Met Gala, says, Denzel, Denzel, can you give me an autograph? And he's empty handed and doesn't say his son's name and doesn't say it's his son's birthday. And then is gonna complain about, oh, Denzel is so mean. I asked for an autograph and he didn't give it to me. This is what I mean about taking ownership, right? Sometimes this hurts feelings, but you know, we, I, I do it out of love. I wanna get you the results. And this is a problem that a lot of the vets have. Denzel Washington, in this case, is the VA Raider. We as veterans will submit claims lazily and have actual documented evidence in our record and expect the VA Raider to do their job, which they should do, I gave you that but we are not living in a perfect world. This is the real world, this is real life. We have to expect that, guess what? That VA Raider is a government employee and they're human just like any of us. There's some amazing VA Raiders. But when I'm writing personal statements for you know uh, VA Claims Academy members, for instance, link in the description below, I am picturing the VA Raider as being 15 minutes away from getting their pension. They are mentally checked out, they got Cheeto dust plastered all over their monitor. They could, they could barely see anything. Uh, they're playing World of Warcraft on their other screen. They're, they're rating 100 claims a day. This is how I want to treat the VA Raider. So guess what? I want to hold their hand. I want to tactically spoon feed them all the relevant information so that we can get a favorable rating. I'm going to give them the pen. Give them the paper. Give them Jake's name. Give them the fact that it's his birthday. Offer it to him. Rather than saying, Oh, hey, yeah, all this is in my doctor's notes. I went to the doctor and they wrote notes about it. Uh, so they should rate me for this. Guys, this is your tax-free pension we're talking about here. We need to be a bit more aggressive and take some more ownership than that. I get it. It's their job. They should do their job perfectly well. But you are not doing yourself any favors, and this is why you're getting inconsistent ratings. To get a consistent rating, here's what needs to happen. For example, headaches. Let's say you have headaches. Okay, you miss work because you gotta rotate ice packs on your forehead, and a doctor says that in your doctor's notes because you tell your doctor that. Okay, maybe you told them that in service. The VA Raider probably is not gonna look at every single doctor's note. You have to anticipate that because guess what? I talk about perspicacity, being aware of the real world. If you were in their shoes, would you want to go back and read maybe chicken scratch notes? Could you even decipher it? So this is why in your personal statement, you have to lay it out, and by the way, this is the real world. In your personal statement, make spaces so that it's readable. Don't create a wall block of text so that the VA Raider is gonna skim through stuff and miss relevant information. Don't include irrelevant information that's going to fatten up your statement. Make it lean, make it readable, okay? Make it easy. This is what I'm talking about. This philosophy I need you to apply to your entire VA rating. If you have evidence, bring it to them. I'm talking all the way. Spoon feed it to them even with obstructive sleep apnea, for example. Let's say you were diagnosed with OSA in service and you were prescribed a CPAP. 
that should be an automatic 50%. You don't need a personal statement, right? Guess what? I'm still filing a personal statement saying, hey, my name is Jordan Anderson. I was diagnosed with sleep apnea during my active duty service. See it submitted medical records. I was prescribed a CPAP as well. Thank you for your time. They can't ignore stuff like that. It's readable and that way it's bulletproofed, okay? Really, seriously, assume the worst. Assume that you're gonna get the worst VA Raider ever, okay? And you're gonna be so much better for it. I need you to take responsibility, take ownership, and really equip the person of power in this case to be able to rate you with the rating you deserve. Swallow your pride and do this and it's going to get you much better results. If this helped you, please hit the like button, subscribe with more free value like this, okay? And other than that, cheers vets.